everyone and welcome to today's video i'm ross and this is the groove tube academy today we are talking blogging platform groove blog release 2021 an alternative to wordpress well we are about to find out now this is literally just gone live everyone so i'm going to be diving in for the first time just as you are and we're going to have a play around i'm going to show you what exactly what it's all about and um, whether or not it is actually going to be um, an alternative to WordPress. So we'll find that out by the end of this video. So let's stick around and, and dive straight in. So over on your um, platform here and within Groove, you'll see that we have a, a little handy uh, Groove plug tab now. So we'll go into that. And this is the page that you're very first uh, presented with. So create your first blog, build yourself a new blog, tags and posts. It's easy and we made lots of predefined themes to save all your hard work. So you go in and start a new blog. And I'm just, this is just going to be a, a dead easy one. GTA demo blog and we'll say done. So what you're looking at here is effectively your homepage to your um, blogging site. So as you can see, they've uh, laid it out here with a sort of heading and you've got different tabs here that you can select through. You can put a button in here if you want to link through to um, any any other uh, things that you've, you've got on offer or possibly even your affiliate uh, link to your groove. You've got all these categories here, latest, productivity, tips and tricks. This is just a, a demo page that Groove have set up for us as a theme. Um, we've got uh, the main um, post here, and then you can click through the others. And then you've got all the posts that come up underneath. You can see you can put dates and headings, um, categories, tags, all that sort of thing. And then you've got your popular post down the right hand side. I believe all oh, this is um, you can customize. So we'll uh, go in and we'll start looking at. It. So this is effectively going to be the, like your home page to your, your blog site. So that's what we're on here at the moment. And um, if you want to go in and create a new post, we'll do that and let's have a look. So as you can see, they've just um, put in some dummy posts here uh, just to get you started. You can go in and, and delete these uh, as you see fit. And um, what you want to do is create a new post here. So as you can see, it's, it's looking very simple. Now, I don't know if you've used WordPress in the past. I certainly have and still do. Um, and it, and it's, getting, it's getting to feel a little bit how they, they've done it on theirs. So they've obviously been looking at that and trying to um, simplify things for us. So, you know, you can go in and then um, just create a, a dummy title here. A demo post. And then you've got, you know, your description. This is just a test post, and then you can keep going on just by entering, you know, entering more text in here, and then you'll notice that you get a little plus icon here, and then you can start adding in uh, media if you like. So that'll bring up here. Let's see, um, pick one of these, select, and then bang, and and with an image. Uh, what else have we got? We've got videos, so you can paste in a uh, YouTube. Um, Vine, Vimeo or other video link into here and then I'll post it in there for you and then you, you can just uh, carry on and just um, keep writing until you you know your heart's content. So we'll go over here and uh, we'll have a look at settings. Let's just move my face over the other side. So here we go, we can choose um, a, a featured image for this. So this will this will be displayed on your, your homepage. Let's take a look at um, that one there. That's Ross Pointing. You're probably familiar with that if you watch my videos. Um, you can, so the post slug, so this will be whatever is after the slash, after this domain here, so forward slash, and then you can write in whatever it's going to be, and I'll just keep it as GTA demo post. Now, it's important to think about how you're naming this post because, you know, the, these posts in, can turn up as pages. Posts and pages are just the exact same thing in search engines' eyes. So it's important that you put in, you know, if you're targeting any specific keywords as well, you, you want to, you know, think about what you're putting in here um, so that when it goes out to the world, um, the search engines can pick it up. You can even um, put in a published date here. Um, you can put it into the your future if you like. If you you know you want to delay it before it goes out, um, you can choose categories that are listed already, or you can um, go in and create your your own category. Um, so, like just just say for example, I was I was doing a, a a blog for plumbers, and I wanted to split it all down into different categories, and you know one was about um, 
gas boilers and one was about fixing you know um, things in the bathroom like a leaky tap you can just split it down so it makes it easier for people to find exactly what they're, they're looking for you can add in your keywords here um, and then a little snippet about what the, the post is about that could maybe be the first sort of section of what it is you've, you've written in there um, and then when that little snippet comes up in, in google people will be able to get a, a little sort of snippet review of what it is about and then they can click on into your post um, I'm not going too much about this just now because it's just a general overview, but you can also edit all your metadata, which is fantastic. Again, about um, your descriptions and titles, um, open graph of social sharing, and then custom code um, if you want to get really technical, but that, I don't even use that, so that's up to you guys. So that was just a quick look at um, the settings within the post. So let's uh, go ahead and publish that. It's not very pretty, but it's just a demo. And as you can see, I'll move myself back over here. Um, you, you can see that this is this is put the post into here and uh, with the other posts. So if we go back to home now, just have a look around. And um, as you can see, it's posted here. So you can go in and change the layouts of these as well. So we'll go through all the different things here. So categories, this is just the section that I spoke about before that within the post, you can create a category and it's also a tab on the left-hand side. So you can go in and create your, your own and then it shows you how many posts there are and then a couple options there to edit and delete. Now themes, this is quite exciting. So, you know, with uh, your group pages, we get themes added every Friday. And this is going to be the same sort of setup in Groove Blog. So at the moment, we're using this as the um, Groove Blog Classic theme, but you can go in and these are free themes. They probably won't be adding as many as they do with the pages section, but um, I mean, these are, you can customize all these anyway, but at least you've got a few to get you going. You can select it and then you can go in and you can start customizing um, exactly how it looks, the appearance, Again, I put myself over here. Um, the fonts, the colors, the um, all, all the different sections, you, even the, the body fonts. So you, everything you expect that, that you'd be able to do, um, and, and other blogging platforms you can certainly do with uh, this one. So we'll exit that, and we shall go into navigation. So navigation is basically um, let me just minimize that just now so you can see what's happening. We'll go back to home uh, navigation. And basically, this is going to be the links up here. So all these are links through to different parts of the, the blog itself. And these are these are different um, links through to these could go anywhere you want, really. So you can in here, you can change them all around, you know, move them around like this. Um, and then it will change it on the on the page there. You can go in here, edit and delete it. Let's have a look at what edit says. So there you go, you can you can change the title of the tab and then where it is, it's actually set, sending them and then edit. Call to action button, you can turn that off and on. So as you can see, this is the call to action. You could leave that up there if you want, if you're doing Groove Affiliate and you could send them people through. You know, they land on your blog post, they like what they see, they think, what well, you know, what is this platform that, that they're using? And then perhaps this goes through to your affiliate link. So it's a, another great um, call to action there, right at the top of the page. And then footer navigation is just the bits down the bottom. Um, as always, you want to add in some, some of these pages and um, customize them. So the last button is uh, settings, and then um, I'm just going to explain a bit about what's going on with um, this. So SEO settings, you, you can basically put in anything you want after the domain. So this is your domain here, um, and then you can put in what the blog post URL. So the URL is the, the, the whole section here itself, so forward slash. It would um, for a blog post URL would be post, and for a tag URL would be tag categories categories that would come after there, and then the forward slash would be then your post itself, the name of the post. So you can change these if you like. Um, I'll leave them as is at the moment. Now domain settings. So this is the, the the most important part at the moment. So at the moment, Groove have released Groove Blog. As they do, they want to get out to the world as soon as, soon as they can. Um, and there probably will be a few bugs as expected as, as it is in, in beta. But at the moment, you can only host um, on the, the Groove blog platform. So it's on a subdomain at the minute. But in the future, it will be able to go on your own um, your own domain. So for example, we've got GrooveTubeAcademy.com and then it'll be forward slash blog. 
So I'll be able to eventually publish this onto my own domain where I'll be putting up blogs and then you can follow on all them on the GrooveTube Academy itself. But it, in the meantime, they are just putting it on a, a subdomain. So I'll, I'll save that just now. Um, let's have a look at some other settings. So logo settings, you can chuck a, a logo in here if you like. Social settings, putting all, all your socials in. Uh, comments, if you want them to be on or off. Um, where, where they're placed within the post itself, how many posts. Um, form settings, this is great. So you can actually put, so if you remember back to one of my previous videos about GrooveMail and setting up forms, you can actually put the form directly into your blog itself and you select the form and then you save it. And then that means that anybody that's on that wants to sign up to see your, your newsletter within your blog to get up to the up to date blogs through to their emails, whatever it may be, they can sign up straight on the page, which is, which is a great feature. I really like that one. So, um, uh, I've done that. Let's see if we can go back to home and I've uh, been on to post, publish the post. Let's see if we can publish this and then see if it all works. So I've got a little green box behind my head there and we want to go to domain. Just want to copy this over, see if it works. Add a new page. Bang. And um, there we go. <laughs> so it's 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 not it's not pretty, obviously, but as you can see, you know, we went in, we picked a, a, a subdomain, we changed it over, obviously, and change all these title tags and um, URL structure. You can go through and and you know go to latest, and you can see here as we were talking before, it, it says categories forward slash latest. And then you can go in and start, <clears throat> excuse me, reading about the blogs. You can even change, there you go, there's the post there just popped up. You can even change if this pops up in your blog. Um, it, it's quite, you know, it depends which side you're looking at. You, you might want them to stay on this post and not click away, or you might want to entice them into reading some other posts, which you can put on the right hand side. <clears throat> So we'll click GTA demo post, and then you can see the date that we put in. It's just a test post. All the um, sorry, just have to take a drink of water. Um, and uh, yeah, as you can see, that that can be as long as you want. Add whatever you want in videos and and you know images and and whatnot. Now, is it is it an alternative to WordPress? Um, honestly, at the moment, uh, it's not purely because you can put it onto your domain. Uh, your own domain, it's in a subdomain, but you know what? The actual functionality of it, even in beta mode at the moment, is looking really clean. I mean, you see now quickly, you can go in, you can you can just, you know, create a new blog, create a new post, and then post it and bang, it's up. It is so fast, it's very slick. I'm actually finding it easier to use than I do in WordPress. Um, WordPress, can, I, which sounds a bit strange because Word, WordPress was originally based on blogging, but I, I, it's just the way it's all laid out, possibly because it's because I'm used to Groove now um, and building pages and websites and funnels and all that sort of thing, but it is um, very, very easy to use. So I think as soon as they publish the section where you can put it onto your own custom domain, I think it's a definite contender with other blogging platforms out there, um, especially um, with WordPress, which is a very popular one. So I hope you found that um, helpful. It was just a general overview. As the app becomes more mature and they release um, more things, more tools and tips and tricks, then I'll, if it's going to be helpful to you guys, I'll release a, another video. But I hope, hopefully that was helpful. If you haven't subscribed, I'm nearly at 200 subscribers now, so it'd be great if you could just then um, subscribe below and um, hit the little bell. You'll be notified of any upcoming videos. I'm going to start doing a, a little bit more. I actually thought about doing one on GrooveMail because um, you, you might have known that there's something going on with that just now. Um, I think it's probably worth an update. I use another email autoresponder in the meantime. And to be honest, I'll probably keep the both of them running at the same time. It's a really good platform. If you think it'll be useful for me to possibly go through an alternative to GrooveMail at the moment, um, hit me up in the comments below. If I get enough comments then uh, or likes to the video, um, either or, then I'll, I'll post that video for you and, and take you a quick quick whiz through it. It does do a, a bit more than just email autoresponding, which is a great feature, and it's why I'll be keeping it going forward as um, it's got various different ways for collecting leads and putting them into your, um, into your ecosystem.
So that was uh, Groove Blog then, new for 2021. I hope you enjoyed it, guys. Uh, wherever you are in the world, I wish you an awesome day, and we shall see you in the next video. Cheers, everyone.